Hey guys, Root Dog here, coming to you from Shabaram Park. It's Wednesday, there's no work, I haven't worked at all this week. So, I'm out here working out. I haven't been working out lately either because I've been working on my Bronco, trying to get it back into some kind of shape and things aren't going too well. So, I've been driving my big truck around. It's not good on gas, but you know, what am I going to do? So if you look real close behind me here, let's see. The California Highway Patrol. Yeah, see them back there? They're out. They're out ticketing people left and right, people, so be warned. They're ticketing you for anything. You know how the states, state of California is going broke? Well, they're hustling for money now. They're pulling you over for any, any little thing. You know, thanks to our politicians there in Sacramento. You know, the people you vote in, because I didn't vote for any of them. They're a bunch of bums. They're a bunch of tax and spend Democrats, you know. So, see my Bronco behind me? I'm in my Bronco Super Duty. I was going to get some auto parts Monday morning and I got pulled over just right by my house. Got me for no mud flaps. So now I gotta put mud flaps back on here. If I do, it's only gonna be temporary. Just so I can get the ticket signed off. Anyway, I just got done working out at the gym. I haven't been working out because I've just been busy. Um, Definitely haven't lost any more weight. I weighed myself this morning. I'm still at 173 pounds. <sighs> yeah. And I haven't, been, like I said, I haven't been working out. I've been busy at work and uh, when I have been working. And in between that, the Bronco's been, you know, out of order for the last two weeks. And it's still out of order. Yeah. Things didn't go as good as I planned, so I'm still working on it. All right, I'm just at the point where I'm just about to hit the hills. I mean, the actual climb up to the top of the hills. But look how nice and green it is here. We haven't had a lot of rain this year, but enough to green things up. I mean, there are times when we get a lot of rain. These grass on the sides will be like three, four feet tall, and the trail gets pretty, pretty narrow, pretty crowded, like a like a single track. This area here gets a lot of shade, so it's fairly nice and green. See a lot of them in the summertime. This is probably the first one I've seen this year. Probably just sunning himself. Should I go poke him, see if he's alive? Yeah, all right. It's a good size one. Uh, let me see if I can get see his rattler. Let's see. Where are we at here? Yeah, see the rattler on his tail there? And, uh... Might see some more of them. Now they're pretty harmless as long as you stay away from them. They're not going to chase you down or nothing. Always interesting to see though on the trip. Check out 
check that out. There he goes. Look how it blends into the grass there. See that? Scared me. That's a noisy one. Man, that sucker can move. He's gone. That's why I don't like wandering around in the high, high grass and stuff like that. I preferably stay on the trail where I can see him. Well, what else has been going on here? Not a whole lot. I went to Afton Canyon about two, three weeks ago, did some hiking around there. Saw some bighorn sheep, but uh, oh, hiked a uh, little slot canyon. Trying out that GoPro camera. Besides that, um, I've been kind of on and off work, kind of working part time, so I thought right now would be a good time to do some maintenance work on my Bronco, you know? I want it to be reliable. So I, and the transmission was shifting kind of funny, so I thought, well, I'll take my tax money and my, some vacation money I got and put some money into the Bronco. So I figured I'd try to save money, do it myself. I tore the transmission out. I got the time, I've been off work. I bought the kit and kind of rebuilt the transmission and torque converter. And, I got it back together the other day, and I think something's wrong. I think I did something wrong, so it's been really pissing me off. Fairly depressed, you know? It's lingering on my mind. This is going to cost me a whole lot more money now if I screwed something up. So, I've had to just kind of take a break on it right now, kind of clear my thoughts, get some kind of plan together. And, uh... You know, kind of take a break, not to worry about it too much, and, and think, 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 think things over before I start getting all, start thinking crazy thoughts like it's going to cost me three thousand dollars to take it to a shop and redo it after all the money I already spent. Don't have a lot of money. I have been working a lot this year or last year. You know, so that's what's going on there. So like, I haven't been working out, so today I'm working out. And I'm, Feeling good, releasing some energy, some tension, you know, some stress. I think uh, if I don't work tomorrow, tomorrow I'm gonna sit down and and think things out and, and hopefully be able to straighten out what the problem is and, and actually get it started and get it running because I got it all together and and I, I don't want to start it if something's wrong because I might do more damage than there already is. So I'm thinking, I just, if I got to take the transmission back out of the truck again, that's what I got to do, you know? I got to save it. Just got to remedy the situation and think logically and not get all frustrated and do something stupid, you know? Because I didn't think it out. So that's what's going on there.